an Italian Navy ship arrives off Pozzallo. On board, hundreds of rescued migrants hoping for a better life in the EU. But alongside it, a smaller vessel with the bodies of 45 people who didn't live to see it. For months, Italy has run an operation which tries to intercept migrant boats before they hit trouble. The government says the Mare Nostrum initiative has saved more than 60,000 people but it has also recovered hundreds of bodies. The mayor of Pozzalo says the human cost of the operation is clear. L'operazione Mare Nostro però deve continuare a terra, nel senso che queste persone che riceviamo li dobbiamo ricevere nel migliore dei modi possibili con l'accoglienza che si meritano e quindi l'Europa ci deve dare una mano, non deve lasciare solo l'Italia perché è un esodo che non possiamo fronteggiare soltanto noi. Many of the survivors are being cared for at this temporary reception centre in Pozzalo. We understand the survivors come from a mixture of the world's conflict zones. Aid agencies say some of those on board the ship were beaten up by the people they'd paid to transport them illegally to Europe. Gaia Quaranta works for Doctors Without Borders. She says survivors told her the conditions on board were awful. Uh, they were uh, almost uh, 200 people divided in, in two parts. Uh, one part they had uh, a little windows so they could uh, breathe uh, and uh, they were almost uh, 150 they said. And on the other part uh, on in the hold uh, there were almost 50 people without windows, without uh, air. Rescuing so many migrants is costing the Italian government more than 9 million euros every month. Critics of the operation say many of the saved then disappear into the continent undocumented. Its name, Mare Nostrum, refers back to ancient Rome and translates as Our Sea. Many in Italy now wish politicians in Brussels would see it as European and help with the rescue operation. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Pozzalo.